Vitaly Shishov left Belarus last year after participating in widespread anti-government protests. In his new home in Ukraine, he helped fellow Belarusians who had fled their country find work and housing. Although he had gotten out, some who knew him say he still lived in fear. Shishov had recently told friends and colleagues that he felt like he was being followed by strangers on his morning runs, which took him through this park in Kiev. A day after he was reported missing, his body was found hanging from a tree. What I would like to outline for now, Vitaly and his girlfriend repeatedly saw strangers watching them, sometimes from inside cars. Ukrainian police say they are investigating whether his death was suicide or murder disguised to look like it. The head of the national police said Shishov had scratches on his nose and body that could indicate a fall. Belarus's opposition leader, living in London, is one of many awaiting the outcome of the investigations. I'd prefer to wait for uh, results of investigation because uh, uh, I can't, uh, I understand uh, the background of this uh, death. I would say it was crime, uh, but I can't say it without uh, any results of investigation. Alexander Lukashenko's government has shown it will use force against its opponents. Earlier this year, the Belarusian president ordered the forced landing of a civilian flight in order to arrest a dissident journalist. In the past month, his government has carried out more than 200 raids on activists and journalists and arrested dozens. Even outside of Belarus, activists may have reason to fear for their safety.